On April 15, 1707, Leonhard Euler was born in Basel, Switzerland. At a young age, Euler was sent to school in Basel where he lived with his grandmother. Unfortunately, his school was a rather poor one, and he learned no mathematics at all. However, his interest in mathematics had certainly been sparked by his father's teaching, and he read textbooks on his own and took private lessons. Euler's father wanted his son to follow him into the church and sent him to the University of Baal to prepare for the ministry. He entered the university in 1720 at the young age of 14. He first wanted to obtain a general education before going on to more advanced studies. In 1723, Euler completed his master's degree in philosophy. After consulting with his father, Euler changed his degree to mathematics. Because of this, Euler had to go back to the University of Baal to complete his studies. In 1726, he was finished and attained his degree in mathematics. In 1727, he submitted an entry for the grand prize of the Paris Academy on the best arrangement of masts on a ship. Although Euler did not win the grand prize, he still won second place because of his essay, which was a fine achievement for the young graduate. After not succeeding in the Paris Academy competition, Euler decided to find himself a job. Fortunately, Euler was offered two spots at two different universities. Although Euler was looking for a job, he did not accept the positions. As soon as Euler knew he would not be taking the job anytime soon, he decided to leave Baal on April 5th, 1727. He decided to travel down the Rhine River by boat, in which he later arrived at St. Petersburg on May 17th, 1727. After arriving, Euler decided to join the newly created St. Petersburg Academy of Sciences. Although Euler was set on not having a job at the moment, he was appointed the director of the mathematical and physical department of the academy. After serving as a medical lieutenant in the Russian Navy for three years, he was appointed the professor of physics at the academy in 1730. Years later, Euler began to publish his own findings. After publishing his own book entitled Mechanica, Euler was beginning to be noticed and his fame and credibility began to increase. One of Euler's first findings was Euler's identity. Euler set out to find the relationship between the trigonometric functions and the complex exponential functions. In Euler's identity formula, the first term you see is the letter E. Euler's number, E, is considered to be one of the most famous irrational numbers in mathematics. Just as pi is commonly known as 3.14, Euler's number is commonly known as 2.718 and so on. Oftentimes, when dealing with geometry and algebra problems, you come across many different types of functions. Surprisingly enough, Euler was actually the first person to introduce functions into mathematics. Other than normal functions, Euler also first introduced logarithms and exponential functions into mathematics. Euler found numerous ways to involve logarithms and exponential functions when dealing with complex numbers. Because of Euler's hard work and dedication, his findings had a great impact on many different parts of mathematics. By 1740, Euler had earned a great reputation. He even won the grand prize of the Paris Academy in 1738 and 1740. When dealing with today's math, Euler's findings contributed to many different geometry and calculus topics. On September 18, 1783, Euler spent the first half of his day as he normally would. Later in the day, around 5 o'clock, Euler had unfortunately suffered from a brain hemorrhage. After being found unconscious by his family, he died that night at around 11 o'clock in the evening. 